Welcome back to Going Walkabout. Mid-century architecture, its clean lines captivate us. Set against the backdrop of the barren desert mountains, the architecture becomes even more enchanting. When we think mid-century, we often think Palm Springs. However, I want to challenge that notion. There's another desert city that has some excellent mid-century homes. Down Highway 111, Palm Desert. In this video, we'll explore the mid-century modern homes in the South Palm Desert area. You can then use this video as a guide to do your own tour via walking or driving. Palm Desert got its start in the 1940s after World War II. Cliff and Randall Henderson were interested in establishing a new community and felt the wide open desert spaces in the Coachella Valley would be perfect. They amassed 1,600 acres. With additional funding from Edgar Bergen, the actor, Leonard Firestone of Firestone Dyers, and Howard Lloyd, another actor, they started the Shadow Mountain Club. The Shadow Mountain Club was the acorn that grew into the mighty area of what we know as Palm Desert today. Thus, the area we will focus on in our tour of mid-century modern homes will be adjacent to the Shadow Mountain Club, where it all began. Mid-century modern, sometimes shortened to MCM, as some say, was a movement that began after the war from 1945 to 1970. The homes featured open beam ceilings, clean lines, and integration with nature. This post and beam style that eliminated bulky support walls in favor of walls seemingly made of glass. There are five basic elements of mid-century modern that you can look for while on your tour. Number one, oversized windows. Number two, minimalist exterior design. Many times the exterior looks boxy or utilitarian, usually single story with an attached garage. During the 50s, the ranch style mid-century was popular in the desert area as well. Number three, functional interior spaces. As we won't see many interior spaces on the house tour, I'll show you where we're staying now. As you can see, it's open and airy living room because there's lots of light from the windows. The post and beam ceiling takes a small space and makes it feel very expansive. Number four, the home will be complementary to nature. As you can see, where we are staying now, the homes have been put into natural slopes with vegetation surrounding every building, in many cases, building around boulders and large trees. Number five, the homes will have angular shapes, especially roof lines. I'm going to add one more element that I've noticed with mid-century places. The block work is decorative, both interior and exterior. I get such a kick out of seeing the normally ugly parochial breeze block in sexy shapes and patterns, used both exteriorly and interiorly. Let's start the tour. You can drive or walk up Pines to Palm Highway, also known as the 74. That'll take you to Grapevine. You'll go down Grapevine to Portola, if you were to go right on Portola, that would take you to the Marrakesh, which we'll go over shortly. If you go left on Portola, past Shadow Mountain, and turn left on Shadow Lake Drive, you'll be on Joshua Tree, and you'll be in the confines of the area that we'll be looking at to explore. I'll go over a few homes on a few streets here that I think that are worth viewing, but just remember, there's many more homes to see. First stop, 72776 Joshua Lane. To me, this house epitomizes mid-century. Clean lines, huge windows, place to take advantage of the beautiful desert vistas. Second stop, 46266 Goldenrod Lane. Every time I see this house, I say, I want it. The low roof line with the huge picture windows, the house projects an aura of cool, even in 100 degree heat. Third, 73559 Pinion Street. This grand old mid-century ranch house sits on close to an acre, 
with the azure blue skies as a perfect backdrop, I doubt the house has changed in the last 60 years. Why mess with perfection? Fourth, 73075 Shadow Mountain Drive. They've updated this mid-century, bringing out the best of its clean lines, utilitarian deep overhang, and my favorite, decorative block work. Our fifth stop is 45540 Verba Santa Drive. Again, a beautifully done remodel, converting the garage to a carport, keeping the lines of the peaked roof painted white, accents the blue sky, and makes the cactus look like sculpture. Driving up Pertola, you'll see pink walls on your right, which denote one of my favorite places in any of the desert cities, the Marrakesh. One man's vision and dream brought to reality. The Marrakesh Country Club sits on 155 acres with 365 homes, 14 neighborhoods, each consisting of two dozen homes, a pool, and a pool pavilion in each. The project began in 1968. The dream of Johnny Dawson, executed by architect John Wolfe. This is mid-century meets Hollywood Regency style, with references to French and English Regency architecture. To many, a welcome change from the mid-century austerity. Soaring doorways, French mansard roofs, a flavor of Morocco in the California desert. With its poodle-cut trees and flower-rimmed beds, you can feel the pull of yesteryear and the glamour of old Hollywood. The clubhouse is as inviting as ever with huge windows facing Shadow Mountain and the evening sunset. Last stop, Sandpiper, where we are staying. Built between 1958 and 1969 by William Kressel, the development boasts 306 units, built over 49 acres and contains 18 circles with nine separate homeowners associations. We are in Circle 2, and we like it very much. It seems smaller than some of the other areas. The homes are classic mid-century, austere on the outside, but beautiful on the inside. The deep overhangs protect from the summer sun. Despite being 55 years old, the architecture accommodates a modern lifestyle pretty well. Good design lasts a lifetime. I hope you've enjoyed our tour of Palm Desert and it inspires you to look into this great community. I've done other videos on the desert, Palm Springs mid-century, secret places to go in Palm Springs, as well as Palm Desert and what to do. If you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be really helpful for the channel, or better yet, subscribe. Cheers for now.